Okay, so today I want to do some testing. I got two 100 watt Red Energy foldable portable solar panels right there. And I got a Delta EcoFlow Delta 2. I'm setting up these power cords right now for the solar. And I found out that there's a difference between the XT60 and the XT60i. So the XT60i has this metal, which I believe is a ground or something, just an extra connection on the XT60. There is no metal connection there. So I went, and this is my first time trying this, but I'm gonna plug this in. All right. <clears throat> you can hear this thing just beeped. And we're getting, okay, so that's pretty good, 95. That's the input watts right now. So that's how it's fluctuating right there. And today is a beautiful sunny day. We have full sun pointing on one panel right there. So now I wanna see, and I haven't tested this yet. Let's see how much, if we can get any more wattage by using an XT60i cable instead of the XT60. So again, we'll just unplug this. Pinching those two. Pinch those two. And now let's try on the other one. Okay, let's plug this XT60i. So that looks like it's about the exact same right now. I've seen comments in Facebook groups about how people weren't getting as much as they could have from their unit because they were using an XT60 cable rather than the XT60i, but seems like they did the exact same thing for me. I'll do more testing and find out. Now, I want to plug these both together. Okay, so now I have them plugged in together. One black going into the red of the solar panels. And then the XTI 60 cable. Black to black, red to red. It goes right to the unit. And now, we're able to produce 191 watts of input energy. It's gonna take around four hours to fully charge. Rather, four to five, rather than the 10 hours before. So yeah, pretty cool. It's an awesome system.